Procedure in Logo Lofty Goal In this lesson, you will learn about the following. Logo Procedure Create Procedure Execute a Procedure Loading a Procedure Saving a Procedure Viewing the Content of Procedure In the previous class, I learned to use logo commands, but I got bored as I had to write it so many things. Hmm, logo has a special feature procedure. By creating a procedure, you can avoid writing the same commands again and again. Logo Procedures Sometimes it becomes boring to give the same commands again and again. At such times, we can use procedures. A procedure is a set of commands to perform a particular task. It is assigned a name. Using the procedure name, you can execute the set of commands that belong to that procedure. A procedure in Logo has three parts. Title. This is the first line. It means the name given to the procedure. It begins with the word to, followed by the procedure name. Body. It is the segment that contains the commands to draw the desired figure. End. Last line in every procedure is the word end, which denotes the end of procedure. Example. To square. To, followed by the name of the procedure. Title. FT50, RT90. FT90, RT90, the set of instructions or commands, body. FT50, RT90, FT50, end. The end command to finish the procedure, end. Rules for naming the procedures. While naming a procedure, we should keep the following points in mind. The name of a procedure can have an alphabet, a number or any symbol. The name cannot have a blank space. The name cannot be any logo command. Let us start with writing a procedure. The input box helps us to write procedures, but it does not show all the commands at the same time and does not allow making changes in old procedures. To write a procedure using the editor, you have to follow these steps. Type edit square. The editor will appear as shown here. Create a procedure. To create a logo procedure, click the Add All button or type Edit Square. The editor window appears. Use the Enter key to create some blank lines between the words To and End. Use these blank lines to type all of your logo commands. The commands for making a square are given in the example on the opposite page. Type End when all commands have finished, the procedure called Square has been created. Leaving the editor. When you are finished editing your procedure, you should choose File, Save and Exit from the Editor menu bar. Saving a procedure. Although your procedures have been saved to the workspace, it still has not been permanently saved to the disk. To permanently save your procedure, choose File, Save as from the menu bar on the main MSW logo screen. You will then be asked to save your file using the Save As dialog box. Some more. The file will be saved with a .lgo extension. Executing. Running a procedure. To execute a procedure, simply type the procedure name in the input box in the logo command window. Then press Enter or click the Execute button. Loading old procedures. To recall old Previously saved logo procedures, choose File, Load from the menu bar on the main MSW logo window and select the appropriate logo file from the Windows Open dialog box. Viewing content of a procedure. PO command. To see the content commands of a procedure, the procedure must be loaded first. For example, PO square. Deleting procedures. You can erase or delete procedures in two ways. By using command, to erase or delete a procedure, just type erase procedure name. For example, erase square. This command will delete the procedure name square. By using file menu, step 1, click file menu and select erase. Step 2, the erase procedure dialog box opens up. Step 3, select the procedure you want to erase. Step 4, click OK button. Advantages of Procedures The main advantage of procedures is that once you define a procedure, you can use it 
any number of times. Simply type its name and the turtle will create the image according to the primitives. For example, let us use procedure square defined earlier. If you give the command repeat 8 RT 30 square, you get the output as shown below. Which one is correct? 